All right, so today we're gonna we're gonna start this axle swap that I've been waiting to get into. I'm sure everybody else has been waiting too. I know he's been waiting. Well, that was about as far as that went. Um, removing the front axle and putting in the Super Duty axle, I realized that the uh, the rear was way down and we ended up doing the rear shackle flip instead of doing the front axle swap. Um, so where this video starts right here is probably a month and a half ago before the rear shackle flip. So the first part of this video is gonna be um, taking apart the, uh, taking the front axle out and um, just figuring a few things out. Realizing the truck's doing the Carolina squat we got to do the rear shackle flip. Um, but I also realized that I can't get the Super Duty axle centered. The, uh, the diff itself is uh, in the way of even being able to get my U-bolt in on the inside. So um, I had to figure out something to do here and uh, you'll see what I did. So this is the leaf spring kit from Barnes for the 05 plus Super Duty Dana 60 front end. It's got the, so this one is bigger than on that side to go over on the uh, carrier on that side. All right, so for comparison on the Barnes, you know, this is uh, the original plate right here. That held down the leaf spring. It's beefy, but not like this. And right here is the difference in the U bolt size. All right, so this is what we're measuring off that point. Just trying to equalize it. Yeah, this is what we're looking at here. We got to put the perch in there, but we got to make sure we have enough room between the, the pumpkin and the leaf spring. All right, so from my measurements with the 05 plus Super Duty axle and the M715, it is about... Uh, half inch offset to the passenger side so i'm going to try to shift over the leaf springs all right so what we're trying to do right now is find center which uh winds up let's see here putting the uh the leaf spring real close here we still got to go over a little bit more i think you got to rotate the axle a little more so I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up cutting off the spring hangers. This one here that's kind of butted up with the steering box. And uh, we've got a half inch piece of half inch plate. And I'm going to clean it up and weld it up and bump this off by a half inch. Because I don't see any other choice. <laughs> 
All right, our general consensus is it's about uh, two and five eighths of an inch from there to there. And then uh, two and five eighths from there to there is centered. Um, but we can't get the, the, uh, the perch to sit where it needs to sit without moving the springs out a half an inch. So that's what we're going to start doing. I'm going to start off by cutting off this front one. Uh, I made a mark in line with that uh, level where it is. It's three quarters of an inch away. We made some measurements from there to the top. Um, yeah, that's how we're going to keep it the way it is on the frame, but just a half inch out. All right, so I'm going to cut straight down, keeping it in line as much as possible. I'm going to do the same over here. Try to make good straight cuts close to the frame. All right, now I have to make several cuts. Um, what's nice about this is I at least have, uh, you know, the, the distance from there to there, I can at least get um, a straight cut on the frame without running that into the frame before I get through it. So I'm, I'm tight to the frame on that cut. Um, it's It's pretty... Let's see here. It's pretty good here. You know, with a newer blade, it keeps me further away than uh, being on an angle like that if I had a smaller blade. And then, uh, same thing. All right, so I got through uh, most of the way here with the wheel. It's on a little more of an angle toward the end, so I'm gonna use the sawzall. And then uh, I cut here with the wheel. And then the nut from the grinder started hitting like here. And then uh, I cut here with the wheel up a little while. And then uh, now I'm going at it with the sawzall. So uh, on here, up, let's see if I can get a good video. This is up next to the steering box, but on the bottom side of the frame here, they got a, they got a weld in there. And I can't quite get to it. You know, here's the back side of the front spring mount. And uh, it's just right in there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to use this uh, carbide bit and knock as much of it out of there as possible and we'll see how far that gets me all right that burr i mean it makes quick work of things it uh was literally probably maybe a minute of me playing around in there and i got that weld down to nothing to where i was able just to bend this down peel it out so now I'm going to grind this down and uh, clean it all up, get it flat, measure up what I need to get for a piece of half inch plate and get that cut cleaned up so I can uh, weld it on there. This is what I got here. I have some uh, sheets of mild steel here that are half inch thick and weigh a shit ton. All right, I'm wanting to see what one of these weighs. All right. So, 
This sheet of steel weighs about 82 pounds. It's heavy. Instead of just cutting out a four by four and a half inch square, I uh, just kind of laid this down where I, uh, how it's going to sit on the frame. And uh, I made some marks, you know, from the edge of that. So I just ran that up and obviously I just traced the edge there and up and over. So I'm just going to cut that out. So I got my half inch plate cut here, um, cleaned up. I got the frame all cleaned up and I'm just trying to get myself into a good position where the spring hanger is going to be on there good and I'm going to tack this on here and see how it looks. All right, um, I think I have this positioned where I want it. I have a C-clamp with a, uh, a pry bar flat against the bottom of the frame so that that plate is uh, flat with the bottom of the frame also. All right, I got the first half inch block on here. Um, I'm gonna tack her in a couple more spots and then I'm gonna burn this thing in. So from the bottom here, you know, the, the frame has kind of a rolled edge there. So I'm gonna just burn that all in, fill everything in and flatten it out and I'll have a good mounting spot for the uh, spring hanger. All right, well, I, uh, I have this placed about where I want it. Um, the magnets, the little square ones are from a hoverboard. They're really strong. We got a welding magnet in there, but I got this set about three quarters of an inch from there. I got my inch and 15 16 from here to the top of the frame and then over here uh, is a quarter inch off of the one piece that's on there right there so what I did was I set the plate an eighth inch away and then I'm going to put this an eighth inch off the edge of the metal and that'll put me a quarter inch off of the end of this plate here that wraps around the frame. So here's the original weld on the uh, spring hanger here and still uh, has a uh, beautiful piece of slag over the top of it. All right, here is where the rear spring hanger was. Um, obviously the bottom from the inside, I showed you that slag, I was able to cut straight through that, perfect cut. On the top here, you really can't come down with anything because you, you hit the body. I would have been cutting through it with a grinder wheel. So I just kind of came at it like that with a grinder wheel because uh, it had a pretty thick piece of weld on top. And I just picked a point in which I measured off the top and then to the top of the frame and that was where I made my cut so I got an inch and three quarters down to the one corner here I made a little template that I'm going to stick in from here to here to uh, get me where I need to be there here's where the edge of the underside of this uh, hanger was on the bottom so I got some marks I got some measurements 
Uh, we so we I ended up cutting it off. So but right here on the side, you I mean you really can't get it at, with anything unless you have uh, a seven and a half inch wheel. So I took a seven and a half inch wheel and I I came in at it straight like this and kind of just took the weld down right next to the hanger. And actually, I took it off real clean. And then on the inside, these jokers had a attack because I thought I had it all off and it wasn't coming off and. I didn't see the tack on the inside. Now I'm going to fill that in with some weld and grind her down. And we're out there cutting a the plate down for the next one here. All right. Well, this is what I came up for the uh, rear spring hanger here um i got the welding magnets holding the piece of half inch plate flush with the bottom of the frame uh, i got this all cleaned up all right i was really curious what this piece of metal weighs it's a little over two pounds that's 32 ounces 32.6 see right there's <clears throat> four of the magnets Nothing else, nothing underneath. And there's the red ones. My kid dug them out the one day and they're, they're better than any magnet I've ever used for anything. You can use them on your refrigerator. You can use them on this. I mean, this actually holding on there pretty good. <laughs> well, technologia. All right, there it is. There's the front stepped out the half inch. And there is the rear stepped out a half inch. I got the leaf spring in. I only tacked the, uh, this I burned in. This I only tacked on. That I only tacked on. But, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Welding that half inch plate on there was a probably about the most the welder liked, I'm guessing. So I'm going to uh slide the axle back in because I got this truck hanging halfway out in the garage so I can put it outside for the day so I can go to work tomorrow and uh, continue working on it when I get back. And that is as far as I got. Um, this is the weekend of June what, 28th right now. And I am going to get on finalizing more of the front end. But what you've seen is as far as I got. And uh, I, I got to figure out um, caster and I, I might even have to, well, we're probably going to remove some front leaves, bring it down, make it a little softer. Um, and in the rear, I might have to get like a two-inch block or something like that, because as you can see, it it kind of rides a little high in the front. I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. I, I'd like her a little more level. So I'm thinking between removing a couple leaves off the front, like a two-inch block in the rear, and I'm probably going to have to cut the perches off on the rear. Um, lifting it the way we did through my geometry off in the rear. I'm probably going to have to move my motor mount a little teeny bit because um, all my degrees are going to be off. So, cool. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and share. And ugh, summertime, you got to love the bugs. Enjoy your day. Thank you.